Turn on channel number to nine. All right, hello everybody. We're gonna try out life here and see what the used marketplace used marketplace is like over in uh, Galgenberg. Uh, we left and went out farms because kind of had my work cut out for me there. A lot of work to do, not a lot of time. Uh, so we're gonna come on over here. Hopefully this map is absolutely fantabulous, fantastic because. I didn't realize, or I guess forgot, maybe because I'm sure I saw it in a mod video and forgot about it, but this map requires uh, a bajillion mods. Uh, so there's that. So, And what I, the other thing I don't like about that is they don't tell you, and then if you do select a map and then a message comes up saying required mods, you can't back out of it. You, you have to just go ahead and go through it and if you if you wanted to like let everything download and then just to try and remember it all and delete it all which isn't going to happen so uh it's annoying as hell so hopefully this is going to be we move to a new town and the association dues with all the mods are gigantic so hopefully have a good time and don't mind these cows because these are not my cows. I looked in the menu. We don't have start without any animals and we don't own this land that we're sitting up at. Maybe it was just because of the beautiful view. So, let's start heading down the uh, hill here. Take a look around. And we'll see what, uh, we'll see what land and equipment and all that whatnot that you start off with. And then I'll break away and have an auction and sell 99% of it and then we'll get back with you and uh, see what the used market's going to be like I already peaked, I already know we're going to be in trouble kind of, but uh, as a bonus we'll jump in the we'll jump in the map right now real quick and we'll see what land we start off with because once again, I peeked at that real quick, and at least all the fields are uh, cultivated, and nothing, well, bad thing, nothing growing on it, good thing, nothing growing on it, because we're not going to have any equipment. And then also there's a couple new crops. Uh, mainly it's just going to be rye, because it's clover, alfalfa, and rye, so we'll definitely, definitely grow some rye. That's usually a halfway decent crop. And then there was uh, some of the required mods is, has to do with the greenhouse, it looks like, where you have to put a certain product in there that's in one of the garden substrate or something. So it's in one of the mods. So let's, I'm sure it's going to save on me, but I'll edit that out, obviously. Let's jump in the menu. We'll see the land you start off with and whatnot and then I did something different this time I turned on weeds and I turned everything else off because I never deal with weeds so I figured I probably should I told you so so yep we're gonna come on in here and as you see on the top right clover alfalfa rye those are gonna be new stuff and then as far as the land we own it's gonna be these two things over here which are a couple fields it says uh like seed bed or something so that looks like they're probably already cultivated or something then we own this gigantic not gigantic but we own that area with one little strip field it looks like a couple we'll get up in here but it looks like chicken pen and that type of thing and then we got this random field up in here we, we started over well because i walked but we started up over here for whatever reason, I don't know, but like I said, maybe it's just because of you. So we're down there, and then we do not have any animals. We have, there's a few uh, productions that it says we own. So this is going to be the greenhouses. It looks like that's where the, whatever, greenhouse, substrate, whatever, it's in one of the required mods. 
and then we can uh, hay dry or whatnot. As far as the starting equipment, looks like we're gonna get two medium tractors, the Valtra T2, for whatever. You can see it on screen. We got a couple of Valtras, 271 horsepower, 190 horsepower. Uh, we're sitting at 2,294 slots. So that's going to be kind of huge, but we'll take care of a lot of that by selling all of this stuff. And then you're going to start off with a John Deere Harvester. So at least I got a lot of equipment again on this map, so I can start off with a ton of money uh, to get equipment if it comes available. Then we got a front loader, Schaefer, wheel loader. I'm going to keep this because this is one of the required mods. and. I, I don't think that's for any particular reason, but other than, I don't know, like, it's not a modded wheel loader, it's just there. So I'm going to keep these two, actually. It's going to look like this one, or probably the next three. This one is down by the shop, it looked like, and then you get a truck. So I'm going to need something. I'm probably going to keep these, just because I never use huge wheel loaders also in... It was required mod so I'll keep this and then this because if I deal with those greenhouses I'm gonna have to get pallets of the greenhouse substrate and then I need a vehicle to get around so I probably should probably should keep the truck and then it looks like we're gonna have one trailer header for the harvester plow that plowing is off anyway so I don't really need plow and all my fields are sitting on seabed so definitely yeah. We're not going to need any of this stuff. And then the typical fare, we get a power here and cedar. If there's seeds in the cedar, I'll keep it for now, but otherwise we'll get rid of it. Roller, same same deal with the sprayer. If there's something already in it, we'll keep it. But sprayer, manure spreader, we got a slurry tank, get a mower, tether, windrow, forge wagon, we got a forestry trailer, mixing wagon, silo compactor, front loader, front loader tools that probably would come in handy but we'll get rid of it all wheel loader tools that's gonna be already attached to the thingamajig so it looks like it's gonna hold 3500 and then uh, that's that as far as what starting equipment you have so that's that as far as vehicles and where we are and then as far as the land that we start off with and as I said, now I'm gonna, uh, oops, now I'm gonna sever, sell everything, get on the marketplace and, uh, see what's available. Well, I guess there's a puppy. I'm gonna start heading on my way over there to, uh, start selling what I can and come back and pick up anything else that I can before I just start selling everything by the shop so this is gonna take me a while and I open the door whoa that's where the trash look in a uh, garden blah 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 this is the one that needed the like garden substrate and all that stuff this must be the chicken pen. And... 30 chickens. Well, this field is owned by me. <laughs> it's kind of cool, but... Oh, we get a little fire pit, too. Can I light on fire? No. Why can't I light on the fire, man? Alright, now I'm just getting carried away. So like I said, I'm gonna... We'll have plenty of time to look around because I'm probably not gonna have any equipment to do any work. Uh, so, <laughs> so let me go... Let me go sell everything as stated. Right now we get 100 grand in like... 2,294 slots. So I'll see you in a minute when... 99% of everything is gone except for that wheel loader, the forklift, and the pick-em-up truck.
and then I might buy a chainsaw just to buy a chainsaw and then the rest from there on out will do the whole I don't buy new all right see you in a minute all right so we're back I auctioned off everything got a pretty good coin for everything I as I said I was keeping a few things so kept the whole Manitou forklift so in case we got any pallets that I'm gonna need to pick up and then I kept the wheel loader because it was a required mod and I felt like I should just keep it and kept the truck to get around and I felt like keeping the water trailer because I feel like uh, might not end up doing a lot of greenhouse stuff because depending on how the cookie crumbles as far as used equipment coming because as of now we're going to go along with the used challenge and basically going to buy 90% of everything uh, from here on out used unless there's like a yin to a yang like if I get a header and need a header trailer or something like that or whatever if I get into a predicament like it that might be biting me in the butt setting all my selling on my front loader and front loader tools but if we need to do anything and skew the rules a little bit we will but so far like I said we got the wheel loader left with its with its bucket the forklift the truck and the animal trailer we're s and we're still sitting at 2107 slots PS4 with basically no equipment but we also have one million dollars uh, so let's see what's in the used like I said I already peaked so I already know it's kind of mostly useless but so used wise we get another one of the things that we have I mean I, would, I guess I suppose that would be one way to make a quick buck we could sell ours and buy this that would be kind of stupid though I'll keep ours but I mean that would fit better with the used challenge uh, <laughs> so, so that's debatable how much how much money can we get for we can get 30 plus probably 36 grand for ours and then pick that up for uh we might as well do that that'd be kind of silly not to even though uh i mean i already got a pretty good pretty good coin but we might as well sell ours and get a used one the deuce that was cracked out uh, all right so let's buy a used one and then we got a head well, well, I mean we do already have a header but and that's a small one that might be able to fit through the map without having to get a header trail so actually maybe the used is better than I thought so maybe we'll just buy all this for later I mean might as well five meters I think I might be able to fit that through the map without getting a header trailer and then at some point holy crap where are all those symbols at some point I'm gonna need a loading wagon it looks like hopefully it's fixed so it picks up all the stuff even though I doubt I'm gonna I doubt I'm going to screw around with, uh, like, uh, clover or anything like that. But now I got the same exact, uh, thingamajigger. So we at least get him out of the way. And then now... Might as well crank. Might as well transfer in here. Because now I'm, it's the waiting game basically to see if uh, what comes up used. Or more importantly, I probably should jump in the, the wheel loader. This should be able to pick up the water trailer, shouldn't it? So we'll drive for a little bit, then I'll just meet you over there. So it's, we don't have a uh, 
10 hour long video here. Let's drive yourself side of the, uh, this side of the whatever. Uh, I might as well buy all these because, like I said, that's probably we're probably gonna end up doing a bunch of greenhouses and stuff. So, where am I, man? We should probably buy all these plots. Yeah, three grand. We'll buy that. Alright, so now we own all that stuff. So we can do... But getting like a water trailer into here is going to be kind of fun. That's why... It would be kind of nice if we still had the mods like in 19 that... Were just basically like little tiny barrels and stuff like that, but... Okay, so apparently after I own the land, I still got to buy the, uh... By the garden, but we'll get back to that because now I gotta run this back to the farm, pick up the water trailer, find water, and then uh, fill all those guys because it's. Again, I'm gonna need to get mineral feed and all that stuff too, I think. Don't we have one already? Yeah, so we need. And why is there two different ones? That's t with with uh, with seeds, fertilizer, straw, and the other stuff, and then just seeds, manure. Okay, and that one produces twice as much. So we're still gonna need to figure out how to get seeds, fertilizer, straw. So that might not uh, this plan that might not work. Unless they grow with uh, some of the stuff and they just better yield with all of it. Probably not though. So, this whole adventure is probably going to be... Probably going to be fun because we probably can't even... Grow the greenhouse stuff. If I need all that other crap. Spurge. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a, a map that I'm 100% going to get lost on. I can't remember, uh... Yeah, I still got a decent... Whoa! I still have a decent way to, ways to go, so... We'll see in a minute. Bought some of that... Greenhouse... Whatever. <laughs> and then we got water. We'll see when we get down to the whoa the farm. Uh, I I bought a water spout so I could get water, and then a buy anything station so I'll be able to get the other required materials that we need to at least get a greenhouse going and then we can deal with that and those until whoa we can deal with those until we have equipment to actually harvest fields and I completely forgot about those other tiny little greenhouses that I bought that I'm gonna have to get back to and get those going too or at least build the building so probably should have went to those ones first because that kind of assumed you'd be able to I'm going slow now so that I don't lose it I kind of assumed you'd be able to pick up these bags individually because that's part of it in the shop like will, will I stop it's part of it in the shop for pallets. The you can get like single bags, and then these I'm a, I just looks fancier, I guess. 
like the normal stuff, the seed, fertilizer. Well, you couldn't normally get a pallet of lime, I don't think, but these two, it's like the same cost and same, same amount. So I don't think there's anything special with those, but that's a mod that's been out for a long time, you guys tell me. I just was forced to download it because of this map. Get back home, puppy. You're going to get hit by a car. We're going to lose it right here. Nope, we're good. But I already walked up to it try to try to pick it up, and I couldn't pick it up. So now we're just going to have to... Uh, take it on over the greenhouse. I think the greenhouse takes like 2,000 liters of this. Then drive on up over here and uh, this works. See like a turn, that, that, that Explanation mark asked you to turn on a trigger and they turned on that trigger, but the water gave me a trigger. I'm kind of surprised this isn't like just automatically, uh, there it goes. I'm kind of surprised it wasn't automatically unloading. Actually, yeah, I think it might take most of it because I think it takes 2,000, so sweet. You're gonna leave me with. 46 liters of that stuff. Uh-oh. 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 Get out of there, man. Because then, uh, would I end up with 2,500? Way too much. <laughs> and, am I, and am I just going to dump a pile of seeds inside of my greenhouse? So what is this trigger for? Can I dump the stuff right here? Should we try it? Because it's not going to automatically suck it out of here, I don't think. So where should I, uh... Where should I attempt to dump this? Well, that worked. Well, kind of. Other than now we get a big old pile of seeds, like I said. So let's try and get some straw. Oh, you know what it could have done, it should have done. I should have, uh, just gone to the other, filled up the bucket and gone to the other greenhouses. Sweet, now I'm confused. Is, it, is that what this actually is then? Can I dump it here? Let's try it. No. Now I'm just making random piles of crap. <laughs> okay, let's take all that. It's almost full. up what we can. Damn it. Yeah, this is going to be a mess. Oh, and it's still got crap in it.
We're just gonna bury this car and stuff. I guess real quick and I'll slide this in the middle or somewhere in there. Uh, I think this actually is a cell point because as I was driving, I picked up the pallets from right here and then was driving out. Uh, did I drive over that way? We might as well find out. Because I'm not full and I have like $50 in sold products. Uh, where'd it go? Yeah, $50 in sold products. So I sold products somewhere, somehow, as I was driving out of there. So that's kind of cool. I can sell the products like right here. Was it here or was it like you, you would have met? No, yeah, like I'm selling it. So you can sell stuff out of your greenhouse, like right in front of your front door. That's kind of cool. Maybe I should just make put one of those pushers and just shove the stuff. I don't know what the hell that is, though. Is this the yeah, deactivate trigger? So what the shit is this? Let's deactivate the trigger for now. And then, uh, yeah. So let's take a gamble and do it, like I said, let's try and I'm gonna fill the whole thing up. And then I can go visit the other, the other greenhouses, so thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more of this adventure. We'll see what happens with the used adventure next episode or what comes up. Or at least maybe I should at least sleep one day and see what comes up tomorrow. Or fast food, because sometimes other stuff comes later on in the day. Now how can I do this cleanly without, uh... Maybe this actually can't be. There we go. Didn't even went in there. Okay, that finally went in. After I lost a bunch. Now we got piles of crap, straw, and stuff everywhere that I'm never going to be able to pick up. But at least we can, at least we can get the greenhouse going now. So do I want to grow tomatoes, lettuce, or, uh, let's do tomatoes. And then we might as well leave it on storing since we don't really have anything else to do. Should be running tomatoes. I don't know how long it's going to last with this stuff though. So we're probably going to have to turn it off by next month. Or just go through that whole process over and over again. But, this thing can run its course, let it run its course and see how many, that looks like there it is. It's gonna pop up over here. 
see how many tomatoes it grows. And then continue on from there. All right, so should we... Should I just go for sleep for a day to see what's, uh... If anything else comes available as far as farming tools, otherwise this is gonna be pretty much a greenhouse adventure. And let until I I or we venture on the map to see what else is there, because I see some, like, random... There was, like, an apple, uh... Like a juice production or something I saw somewhere. Oh, there's some bees. We can buy some bees. Whatever. I'm not gonna look at the map. Uh... Or should I get that the greenhouse is going? Let's just go to sleep real quick. And then see if anything else pops up tomorrow. Pallets of uh, tomatoes here, so this might be interesting trying to drive that uh, mana two in here to pick up the things. Does it tell me how much is left? Or what do we got going on here? Yeah, so we still have. 1300 liters of the substrate, so what was in there? 2000, I think. So you use like 700. So I mean, I got enough for another. Looks like I got enough for a month at least. Oh, these look better. Kind of nice looking greenhouses. So I suppose that means like, well, I mean then I'd have to buy wheat bags and them too, but I, we could get some chickens too. Because we got the man that I could just go back and forth and get a, uh, like, at least this would be one way to get rid of this. I can go back and forth and get, like, wheat pallets basically. Sweet, that's one way to get rid of it. If I should have tried to pick it up. I'll pick it up all messy. I don't care. Because it should take it all. There we go. Yeah, you can go back and forth and pick up chicken food with this thing. Really? There's nothing that's available used? Come on. I want to sleep. What's the big idea? <laughs> Give me more equipment. There's gotta be more farmers that don't want to do their jobs anymore. I thought I saw... I thought I saw a collectible. Oh, that's cool. That's grown. Like, that wasn't as grown before. Was it? When we first came over here? So, we will see what happens on, where am I, Galenberg, something like that, but there's like a thousand required mods, so it is highly detailed, it does look really good, but was it necessary to download like 10% at least of uh, my mod space? I don't know about that, we'll see. I guess I am kind of getting mod. I have been spending a lot of time just sitting aimlessly looking around. So, uh, I said it is pretty. 